Hello my friends and welcome back to another Starcraft Brood War Remastered cast. We've got Snow spawning here in the top center versus Flash and this is a series that I've been long waiting for since the return of Flash. You guys have heard me talk a lot about whether or not Flash would be able to pull off the plays that he was trying with his gasless fast expands and his really quick third bases if he could pull that off against snow or not and today we're going to find out snow the ultimate test here for the ultimate weapon i'm really excited for this one guys make sure to hit the like button if you want to see starcraft brood war live forever comment as well for the algorithm and uh for those of you who haven't subscribed yet you're very welcome to join these casts. We're going to have lots more Flash gameplay coming in the future. Um, before this little series here, before these games between Flash and Snow, I saw that Flash played uh, quite a few games versus Motive, so I might be checking that out a little bit later, so make sure not to miss that. Hit the sub button. We're going to be going into this one now with definitely Flash taking that gasless fast expand this is exciting guys this is exactly what i wanted to see him going into a gasless fast expand and trying to make it work against snow um the only other thing of course being that quick third base now snow gonna get in here start to hit this scv in if you're a flash right now you probably don't know that this is snow this is a very small barcode usually snow plays on his main account but as soon as you see the probe microing like this trying to pick off your first SCV, you've got to know that this is not just your average ladder opponent. This guy is moving like a machine here, putting a lot of damage early onto that first SCV. I'm going to come in here and try to pick that off as best he can. It is getting pretty low here, the probe. Only a couple more hits left on that. And as the Marine pops out, he will back away. He took his gas, but I think this is a reaction to getting scouted. He grabbed that gas here just to make sure that uh, Snow couldn't steal this. So he'll probably only mine that with one until he gets the CC up here. I'm going to start the bunker before the CC. A little bit of caution here from Flash. Making sure that he has the resources to hold this off. He hasn't gotten a scout in there yet. Okay, no, he does have the scout in here. Checking everything out. Seeing what he can see in the main. He sees no range being upgraded right now. So... We're not going to see Protoss take the tax here this game. He's going to be grabbing his own Nexus, pumping out a Dragoon shortly, but he won't be able to hit that bunker. Um, at least not for very long before we have a tank out on the field. Whoa, the Zealot actually ran by the bunker, it looks like. Just straight run by here with two Marines on the chase. One more Marine popping out here. He should be able to shut this down without taking any damage. He does lose one... Marine, a little bit of sloppy play there from Flash. He's going to ring around the Rosie here. Try to keep that alive as long as possible. But he does need to keep this uh, probe, or this SCV here on the factory alive. And it doesn't uh, stay here. It is going to go down. Oof. Dragoon runs by as well. But a few Marines have died so far. And Snow is starting to pull this man apart. This Terran player is going to be having a really hard time getting this factory out. With the Dragoon in the main here. Kills the Marine. Three kills on this Dragoon already. A fourth kill goes down. He targets down the low HP uh, SCV during all of this chaos. And this SCV just cannot surround this. He can't get the surround onto this Dragoon. Just such clean micro here from the Dragoon on Snow's part. And another Dragoon is going to come to the front here. The bunker is empty. One more Marine at the front. He builds a pylon. He builds a pylon to block. The add-on here, that's a sick move from Snow. Uh, not allowing that add-on so that the tank can come out here. One more Marine pops out. Looks like it took a couple of shots from that Dragoon, but it's going to just run on out of here. Dragoon here with six kills. Still on 21 HP. Going to look for more kills onto some of these SCVs for a little while longer. At least until that tank pops out and finishes it off. One Marine going to be sent back here. Still 21 HP on that, plus the 13 shield, so it's probably going to still kill that. Oh, it's so close. It does get the kill. Nine 
HP left on that. He's going to try and run by the bunker again. It's just got one Marine in there, so he can go behind the Mineral Patches if he wants. Looks like that Dragoon in the main finally got picked off. That Hero Dragoon here that survived for so long did end up dying. These two don't have any kills. We do not have range still, but we're going straight into... Uh, a reaver so the reaver might be the killing blow here there's already been a ton of damage done so many marines have died so many SCVs have died flash is in a brutal position and this is exactly what i was talking about earlier guys can flash make these plays work these build orders work against someone the quality of snow and so far the answer is no he's having such a hard time here Putting this build together. There's the uh, range finally coming down. Is he going to lose this tank as well? Oh, he loses it. Damn, not a great target fire there either on the Marines. They were each firing on one Dragoon, and so both of them will survive. That is a bit rough. We do have another Dragoon running up here. But the tank comes forward and clears them both out. So a little bit of an overextension there at the end from Snow, but... I think his position here is just too good at this point. He's going to move out and take a third. And we're going to have that Reaver in just a moment with the speed as well. It's going to be so hard for Flash to hold on against this. He's pushing out with two Marines and a tank. Just trying to make something happen here. Trying to kill that last Dragoon. Um, just to try and eke back a little bit of an edge here. But... The Reaver is coming now. There's hardly any anti-air, and Flash is about to feel the pain of the Snow Reaver. There we go. First shot goes down. Tank very low on HP now. Dragoon gets picked up as well. He's probably head into the main base. Speed upgrade not quite finished yet. Mine's being placed out in the front. Oh, we've got a Wraith. That's huge. The Wraith here changes the math quite significantly. It's going to help out a lot in this fight. Let's see. We're going to track this down with the Wraith. We'll have to drop the Dragoon on the other side here just to keep that alive. Will he just go for the kill? He does. He gets the kill on that and keeps the, dra uh, keeps the Wraith alive. That is huge. Flash actually making somewhat of a comeback here by taking that out. Without taking any damage from that Reaver aside from a little hull damage on this tank. He's managed to equalize slightly here. In fact, his uh, supply is looking quite good. And that Ra that Reaver is just going to be stuck out here. If he's able to get over and kill that Reaver, um, Flash is going to start to take in a bit of an advantage here. There's the Reaver. Gonna take some pot shots on that. Can he kill it before it gets a second shot off? He doesn't. He gets the second shot, and both these tanks will go down. So the Reaver getting traded out for two tanks. I'm not sure if that was worth it here for Flash. Um, he's still on two factories right now. Hasn't built a dropship or anything. Oh, he does have a dropship. Okay. Gonna load up here. Go for the main base, it looks like. But that's gonna be caught by Snow. Snow's so on top of things here. He knew that there was a Wraith earlier. So he uh, div just figures out here. That there must be a dropship coming soon. Process of elimination. No, what's that called? Well, these uh, vultures are not going to get too much damage done. Well, this one might get a couple extra kills. One. I'm going to lay down some mines. Go towards the third base. But there are, of course, some dragoons here. Oh! One decent shot there with a mine. Deal some damage. But another Reaver is going to pop out here soon, I imagine. No, we don't have one on the way right now. Okay, there it is. Reaver got picked up somewhere. More factories on the way. He's going to go to five factories. Okay, so Flash. He realizes his position pretty flimsy at the moment. Going to have a very hard time taking a third base against Snow. With all the damage that he took in the early game. And going up to five factories is the traditional play actually against Snow. Uh, to take that third base. You really need the muscle to, to fight his army. Um, but somehow Flash had been doing this against other Protoss with just three. Oh god, he's going to go into the natural here. This is pretty wild. Snow getting some great shots with this Reaver. Reaver hardly taking any damage so far. And two tanks fall. 
Trading two tanks for three Dragoons. That is some amazing good trades here for Snow. Is he going to be able to keep that Reaver alive? He's taking no damage on it. It's unbelievable. Look at that. It's still full HP. The shuttle here has been taking some damage, but for the most part, keeping that unit alive and safe would have, would have really sucked to lose that shuttle, but just amazing control out of snow so far. Shutting down the drops back at home as well. Flash's every move here being kind of countered right now. And Flash is actually going to take his own high ground. He's going to take his plateau here. Now, the plateau is uh, kind of a double-edged sword. You cannot build any turrets up here. If you try to take this area here in order to take the third base up here, at least you can build turrets. At least you can uh, make sure that you're not just going to get overwhelmed by, well, at least help prevent getting overwhelmed by just pure uh, shuttles with zealots inside of them. Like this, he's just going to be dropping this uh, shot or dropping this reaver right on top of everything. Is he going to lose the reaver? The reaver gets another shot there, killing off two more tanks. That's the abuse that can happen when you just don't have any anti air over top of your forces. And like I said, a double edged sword here finally has a Goliath out. We'll start to take this third, it looks like. Some vultures making their way around once again, looking for. A few more probe kills. Looks like they'll find one, but another drop here on top of the tanks. The dragon's coming in from every angle. Two more reavers pop out here in the midst of this fight. Oh, goodness. This is completely overwhelming. Flash's position. He's going to lose everything here. Well, some pretty decent mine connections and some reinforcements come out, pushing everything back. That went surprisingly well. It really looked like Flash was about to get completely destroyed, but he manages to hold on to the position, but he Although he does not have that third base started just yet. Mines over here. Maybe going to connect. Maybe kill off a few more units. Oh, this would be huge if he can get the connection. Oh, great mine connection there. Killing off a bunch of probes. And uh, shutting down this transfer pretty hard. More mines are going to probably connect on some of these units as well. Very good vulture play here from Flash so far. This is still a pretty open base if you come through this bottom side. You might be able to make something happen here. Some magic uh, on snow side of the map. Oh, great target fire there, but he eats a huge reaver scarab to the middle of that tank clump. All three of those tanks end up going down uh, if, you know, a bit uh, uh, later than the actual shot there. Ooh, overextension here. From snow. Bit of a delay for those tanks going down, but losing three tanks at the front line like that just to kill the Reaver is pretty rough. Pushing forward now with the four Goliaths. Can snipe down those uh, shuttles really, really quickly. This one already very low, in fact. And a, a really a small push coming forward here from Flash. How many factories is he on? We've got six fact push and just now starting the command center. So he has to make this work. He has to deal massive damage with this push. He's not targeting down the shuttles. The shuttle's starting to fall, but this Reaver Scarab is going to do so much damage. Oh my goodness. All the tanks going down here and the surround from the additional gateway units is going to clear all of this up. Damn, this is rough right now for Flash. He's just constantly coming forward with small groups of tanks because I don't think he believes that he can put together a large enough force to take down Snow in the later game. He has to keep it scrappy here, but this is where Snow thrives. He's really good at taking these small fights over and over and over again, and you can just see there's not enough backing these tanks up. And the more tanks that Flash loses here in these small clumps, the smaller the later game army is going to be. And in fact, he might just be getting rolled up all the way back into his base. Pushed back farther and farther here as more tanks go down. GG is called. Flash taps out and Snow not going to let Flash get away with an easy uh, gasless fast expand. It's just not going to happen. He's running by his defenses. Picking off lots of SCVs, slowing him down, and just making his follow-up play that much weaker. Although, 
there were some moments here for Flash where maybe, you know, if he picked off some more probes, maybe he, if the drops had gone a little bit better or uh, some mine connections had hit a little bit better, maybe things would have been uh, a little bit more even here. But this is still quite dominant performance from Snow. We're going to jump into game number two and see if it's any different. Let's go check it out. All right, game number two here. We've got some chatter back and forth. I'll try to get that translated for you guys so we can see what Snow and Flash are just talking back and forth. If they're talking crap or just uh, acknowledging each other. I think that he might have told Flash that he's actually Snow here. Um, but I think Snow just made a huge statement in that last game. Aside from what he just told to Flash, uh, he showed him that the previous ASL where Flash 4 owed him uh, that ASL finals this is not the same snow anymore this guy has been practicing like crazy he is an absolute legend at this point he is at the absolute tip top of his game as well um, and he's been growing since Flash has been gone right Flash has been growing rust and snow has been growing his Terran body count his Terran scalp count he's got so many uh, pro Terrans uh, shaking in fear really at this player uh, just think about what he did to speed in this last ASL and what kind of uh, mentality and fear that actually puts into a player uh, and you know the rest of the players in that race like oh my god he could do that to me as well this guy is fearsome uh, and maybe you know at this point flash is not the the player who can take him down maybe he's not strong enough just yet maybe snow is gonna humble him here once again but um, maybe that's what flash is here for why he's back is to actually uh, turn things around and show us how you beat a player like this in PvP because it doesn't seem like many other players uh, in this matchup are capable of making it happen i think that's one of the reasons why zerg has been kind of dominant uh, in asl recently is because uh, pro zergs are taking out snow nobody else really can i feel like if snow had a nice run in the asl where he just kept hitting terrans that would be his that would be his season to win for sure he's really improved his versus zerg play but it's definitely his weaker matchup if he runs into Flash, though, in the next season, would that be the same result? Would I really expect him to take Flash down? At this point, I would say yes, but who knows? We're going to be watching his development very carefully. Seeing how this man grows and changes and what type of changes he can bring to the matchup to kind of counter the things that Snow is doing. I don't see any uh, real counters, but... Flash absolutely capable of making some brilliant, brilliant metagame shifting changes. Not only in this matchup, but in every matchup. So we'll look forward to that. Again here with the gasless. He does set up the gas now, but has that CC nearly complete. Again with the run by here. Zealot making its way into the main base. He'll have to pull. The three marines here into the main. This time with the three marines though. And after killing the probe. This zealot is going to be much much weaker. He's not making the same mistakes he did last game. In dealing with this early zealot. And you know, Snow is, is feeling that. He's knowing that he can't really deal uh, much damage here. He's actually just going to run right out. Look at this. So he loses the probe. He gets a scout of the main. But I mean what was he really scouting? You know that there's going to be a command center here. Well, maybe he wanted to see the command, but he could have turned around and walked right back out, and that probably would have been enough scouting information for him. He sends the Zealot back home. That This, I guess, will be part of the, the Reaver shuttle here a little bit later on. SCV living an inordinate amount of time here in the back. Oh my god, this dragon just will not fire. Pretty frustrating here. Oh my gosh, again. Not going to take that shot. Finally kills off that SCV. He starts the range and then cancels. Interesting. He wants to hide the fact that he's not going to be going range here. Um, will be setting down that robotic support bay here in a second. 
going into that reaver really really fast i would say got the zealot coming back there's the robotic support bay in the front double factory follow-up here for flash um after seeing the reaver in the main or sorry the robotics in the main it's not like he needs uh an immediate ebay here or anything starts an armory and a starport before throwing down an, any sort of detection so he's pretty confident that this is not going to be some sort of invisible man play instead he's going to make sure that he has anti-air with in the form of that wraith early on and he's just going to pop out some turrets here i imagine as the shuttle is coming across the map he doesn't want to add those on too early First Vulture here, making its way across the map. Might be able to find the probe on the high ground. Just block with the probe. One shot. He does get it. Probe does die here, but he will lose the Vulture. So, one probe for one Vulture. Not the greatest trade here for Flash. We've got one Dragoon here in the wall. I guess this is impassable. Impassable terrain there. Doesn't get the Nexus, or it doesn't get the probe that's coming out to build the Nexus, excuse me. So a delay on the Nexus not going to happen here for Flash. Um, Would have been nice to go over there and just lay mines, just slow that down a bit because we don't have observers out just yet. So any delay to that would be pretty big here. Uh, however, mind, uh, map control right now and a Wraith on the map. Uh, might be just the ticket that he needs here to um to take this out to stop this from dealing any damage he's gonna lose the dragoon here almost 100 percent he moves that forward at all that's gonna go down wraith looking for the shuttle right now here's the shuttle coming in towards the main as soon as he sees that with the uh ground forces he's gonna go after that Ooh, the speed finishes up just in time here he's gonna go for the shot on the SEVs. does get a few kills here on those SEVs, but Oh man, gets a really good shot on the tanks, on the ramp as well. But the drop is down, so uh, with the shuttle being gone and the SUVs evacuated out of this area, it's one more vulture there, but total five kills only. Five kills only for a snow shuttle, not bad at all. So uh, I think pretty decent handling of all of this from flash he's going into six factory or no not six five five factory here with the plus one coming i believe he's going to move to take the third base immediately and this is a great third base to take here uh, i always like this position as Terran because you can set up tanks here and cover this ramp right here if it's if you're over in this position and you try to set up tanks here you really can't cover this ramp very well so this is a nice position on retro to actually take your third base pretty comfortable location in fact so more gateways coming up right now that third base is done forge here uh, for those cannons and of course some upgrades to come through shortly drop ship on the way he's managed to completely shirk turret duty here in the main and and in the natural as well not even a single turret being made but he held that attack with flying colors that uh, Reaver drop there. Really well held here by Flash. And this means he's going to have a lot of money for things like this drop. Oh, right through the Observer vision here. But you expect the drop to come as snow. See a Wraith. Of course, there's going to be a drop on the way. Uh, it's just a matter of time, honestly. These four vultures are likely to be sent up into the main, but of course, cannon warping in at just the right time here. Two dragoons in the main. Should be able to handle everything. Ooh, Wraith. Likely to get picked off right now. It does go down. And the Reavers here in the front start to skirmish with these units. Drop into the main. Getting a little damage. Looks like the Reaver could end up going down. There's nothing really that the... Um, vultures can do in the main right now and the tanks are actually getting slaughtered here at the front as they try to push forward another big reaver shot could go down he's trying to run forward towards the reaver to actually get some hits on it but he's having a hard time doing so and a lot of tanks were lost there for hardly any exchange 
The Reaver is still alive. Only a few Dragoons ended up going down. I think this is perfect handling of this attack by Snow because he's just going to have units for this pretty darn soon. Two kills, three kills on that Vulture. There's the Reaver going down. Finally gets picked off here. Tanks are going to siege up on the low ground. Let's see if uh, Snow did enough damage to this push to be able to break it easily or is he going to have a really hard time here? Another Reaver pops out. More Zealots are coming here as well. He's breaking up slowly onto the high ground here. Great positioning on the tanks. But I think we're going to see this Reaver get dropped here pretty soon. He's going to go for some shots onto the tanks as they try to push up. But maybe if we go right here, siege up, right around here, maybe we can um, take some pot shots with the tank without losing it to the Reaver. No, the Reaver just going to go ahead and pick off that tank. It will get the second tank as well, I think. No, not quite getting that. Okay, he does get it in the end. Dude, he is so good with the Reavers, man. How are you supposed to push up this ramp at all? Can't really cover it from the low ground at, uh, at this point. He's done such a good job of handling that. I think maybe a mine went off here. I'm not sure if uh, extra probes went down to that. We're down to 46. Um, to the 48 here of Flash. He's about to try and take that extra base in a moment. But Zealots are coming from behind here. He's going to try and drop on top of the tanks. Oh, looks like some Dragoons actually went down behind this. Uh, that must have been some big damage there with some mines. Uh, clearing up those flanking forces. Tanks are taking a lot of damage. This tank on the high ground is going to end up going down. Tank on the low ground likely to fall as well. Good job blocking with the Vultures here from the high ground. He's actually uh, keeping this tank alive here on the, ground, on the low ground just by uh, juggling that right now. Oh, he's not able to block the Reaver shot. It does go off here. I thought he was going to be able to block that with the tank on the ramp, but that ends up going down. This tank's going to fall as well. Being a little bit cavalier here, trying to push up the ramp. I think that uh, Snow is going to actually break this. No problem now. Looks like the Reaver did finally go down, but the tank number is too low. We've only got three tanks here and a few trickles of vultures coming forward. And meanwhile, um... Yeah, this this is this is a ton of gateway units coming out here. A thousand minerals in the bank for Snow right now. He's maybe falling apart a little bit as he runs down this ramp and just loses every dragoon. He's gonna be regretting that decision. If he had just backed up into the mineral line and forced uh, tanks to come up here into the high ground, uh, we wouldn't have lost any probes here, I think. But we end up losing a few. We're down to 43 now, and Flash is about to get his third base online. He's lagging a bit behind with uh, getting that uh transfer going but i can totally understand because he is micring like crazy these this army as small as it is it is so important here that he keeps the pressure on right now he's keeping snow off of his side of the map and he's just keeping uh snow's army small as well building up this turret force we're gonna have a Shuttle once again on high ground. Reaver on high ground. It's just so hard to break into these bases. But Flash is going to try and make it happen once again. Dragoon's coming down, but there's a little bit too many tanks at this point. Tanks are really splattering these goons here uh, as they try to come forward uh, to pick off anything on that low ground. A lot of dragoons are falling. Here comes the tanks once again. Some dragoons made it across the map, though. We have that transfer over here, and Flash is going to start to lose SCVs on his side of the map while trying to break in. Oh, the, the Reaver actually went down. I'm not sure how that happened, but the counterattack is really, really strong. Is he going to pull his SC or his his probes here while well, it's a little bit of a rough time now to try and pull those away? Dropping on top of the tanks to get rid of them. He still has a cannon here to deal with all of this, but Flash holds on his side of the map. So the cannon's going to protect from the vultures. Uh, but the tanks can slowly creep up here and start to hit the nexus. Nexus is pretty low. And if he loses that nexus, I think that Flash is going to be able to push through to the win. Oh, man. Nexus is getting lower and lower and lower. Two zealots here are going to be dropped on top. Is it going to be in time? He focuses the nexus. One more shot here. He loses it. 30 HP. 30 HP on that. Oh my goodness. Is he actually going to hold now? He kills the tanks and he kills the turrets and survives on 27 HP. My goodness. He's wiping the sweat off of his brow right now. 
Snow just about lost his third Nexus here. A run by potential to pick off this uh, Nexus here. It does have some shields regenerated. It's 21 HP now. You can see the temptation of trying to run by to kill that. Look at the sliver of health on this thing. It is ridiculous. There's almost none. Look at the pro blocking all of the HP, making it look like a glitch right here. But I assure you, it is not. It might be considered a glitch to flash here. That's the point when you type in the, the chat, like, kill your own Nexus. Because you're just so frustrated with that tiny amount of HP that should have been a kill. Building some cannons here. Or building extra cannons and killing his own cannon in the mineral line because it's messing up the AI of the probe so much. The mining really getting screwed up by that cannon, but... Now that that's been killed, he can get back to full mining here. Again, trying to run by with some vultures. Again, it's just so tempting. Maybe even build a dropship here. I wouldn't be surprised if Flash did that. Just build one dropship and try to drop a tank. Like over here or something. Try to drop one behind and just siege up and kill the Nexus. I feel like that might, might even be worth it. Although if you keep throwing units at that to try and kill it over and over again. And you end up losing... Uh, you could end up losing the game because of just too much commitment to killing that. Now, another group of probes heading over here to the center left. We are uh, one base ahead of the Terran right now, but just barely. Just barely ahead right now. It's not a good position for uh, Snow anymore. He lost a lot trying to clear the armies of Flash as they were trying to push up onto that high ground. Now, coming forward here with some groups of Vultures and... Uh, Reavers right now getting some good trades with the Reaver doing some good damage with that picking off vultures on the escape here looks like flash gonna push directly to the same exact position as he did earlier but he's not bringing all of his tanks with him which is leaving an opportunity here for snow to get in and actually pick off the science vessel that's a big kill before this uh, real army clashes Zealot Speed is now done as well. And we're going to have Scarab damage in a moment. That Scarab damage could make a big difference here. Zealot's coming across the map. They're going to be dragging mines. So he's sending one Zealot ahead of the pack to try and drag mines here. And then he'll try to break up onto this high ground. Might end up dragging some mines here. No, he is going to make it in. But he doesn't have these Zealots back at home for the defense. That defense is going to be a little bit weak back at home. It's quite a few tanks. Here we go with double Reaver, though. Ooh. Two tanks get picked off immediately here. No more Zealots remain. So he should be backing away from this with just pure Dragoon. He's not going to be able to make any progress there. Back at home, Flash holds his third, and he starts his fourth base as well. He's nearly mined out here at the natural, so he needs to get that online pretty soon. But he's pushing forward here with now with 2-2. Two -two. Very scary force. Zealot's coming through to bomb these tanks. He's going to maybe drop one more time. Drops the Reaver. He does take a big shot here. The Reaver goes down. Not able to get any more hits with that first Reaver. Second Reaver down here. Gets a double kill with that Scarab. Really big kill there for this Reaver. Pushes everything back a little bit more. Snow on the back foot here once again. A lot of... Zealots and Dragoons coming out, but Flash is just relentless, man. He will not stop. He keeps pushing the issue here, even beyond the point where I would think he would uh, d decide to just turn around, uh, find another avenue of attack. He just wants this base so badly. It is so low. It's managed to rejuvenate some of the shields here, but oh, the trades are so bad coming up this ramp. It's it's incredibly rough. And the counterattack is not doing that well, though. The dragons are going to try to run up on this high ground. Let's see what kind of damage they can do. Looks like the Reaver may end up going down. Flash paying attention here. And Snow getting pulled apart. Doesn't have that much attention to deal with all of these different attacks at the same time. So he loses the, sh the Reaver. No, he's got it alive. But the Nexus goes down. Big kill there. Huge kill. Finally, some relief here for Flash. Catharsis for our Terran player as he finishes off that base. Some 
probes being transferred down here to the bottom left hand corner that base is going to come online so it's not as though uh snow is uh, dying for bases right now but flash is still growing he's got a base over here in the center right however this reaver with almost no hp is going to come in and maybe shut this down three kills there oh my god nine kills he just got with that one shot from the reaver holy now up to 13 here that was an insane hit with the reaver totally flipping this game actually on its head let's see if we can get any more kills another scv goes down and a tank as well that's so rough dude this is becoming a very close game here shuttle should be sent back for some more uh units potentially to drop on the center right base down to just 43 workers here for flash enough to saturate two base but not much more than that may even want to pull the scvs off the gases here and get these ones to work as well um the ones that are mining off of these depleted vespian geysers are not getting the most bang for his buck right now hardly anything at either of these bases at the moment could pick up some more zealots with this shuttle but instead he's going to come in with a secondary shuttle to maybe drop on top of this mineral line reaver going for a shot here does get blocked behind the mineral patches with the uh, help of these vultures. Really good play from Flash to keep those SCVs alive at this point. Shuttle very, very low. And uh, Snow moving through the middle of the map here. He's got a pretty good position. Like he's cleared out a lot of the mines. But now eating mines here in the middle. He's trying to get one more shot with the Reaver. He gets that shot. And he gets the tank. He does target that down. Really nice targeting there. But losing a few dragoons at the same time 3-3 three, three is done six more zealots in production is that going to be enough to break this push well it's not really a push at this point only four tanks over here we've got five tanks uh in this center left base we've got four tanks over here as well so if he brings all of this together he has a pretty reasonable force but he's still 50 supply behind snow how how does snow do this man i cannot believe that after all that pushing, all the, the damage that's been done with that attack over and over again here into the 12, uh, that Flash is still this far behind, that Snow is actually overwhelming him right now. Uh, we are going to do a bit of a base trade here. Center uh, left and bottom left, I think, are going to get traded for the center right of Terran. And uh, if that's all that gets traded, I think that Flash is going to be okay, but actually pushing into the natural right now and flash is not ready for this he doesn't have his tank sieged he's just killing two bases right now which i mean he's just doing that doesn't sound like that much work it is huge work but you have to be able to stop the counter attack as well and it's going to make its way down here to the bottom center because this is the very last base that's actually being mined right now by flash and if this base gets taken out well there's not going to be a whole lot of mining uh, for either player on the map. The 12 o'clock is still going to be mining here for snow. But that is it. And it's not got a lot of money left at it. 67, 65 supply. This is such a scrappy game right now. This command center is likely to fall. Command center over here will survive for now. But GG is called. Look at that. Snow takes down Flash in a very, very close game here. You can see that even with the rust that's developed on Flash and the amount of experience that Snow's accumulated over these past few years, it's still tough to take down the ultimate weapon. The ultimate challenge here, not quite met by Flash, but we'll have to keep an eye on him. We'll have to... Uh, continue to check in on these two and see how they're matching up in the future i have a feeling that flash is going going to maybe not you know 4-0 in the finals level of domination over snow uh, ever again but you know we might end up seeing him take series off of this man again in the future that's just my feeling let me know what you guys think in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow